Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. What is up, Gemini? Sun, moon, or rising? Welcome to your mid-July special love reading. My name is Tessa and you're watching my channel. If you're a Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, you came to the right spot because this is the first time I've ever done a love reading on my channel and I'm really excited. And you guys are the last sign and they've been going really good so far. I've been having some really, really cool readings. Um, everybody a little bit different. Um, and I really just kind of like, like the layout and the way that I've been doing it. Uh, I've been getting some really good messages. So hopefully you stay tuned and see what we have for you for mid-July. Um, let's see, just a little background on me. If you are new to my channel, I do uh, readings twice a month for all the zodiac signs. I do monthly readings based on your rising sign. So I, we take a look at the astrology for the month and I pull up the chart according to your rising sign and we take a look to see what energies are kind of going on for you, uh, what you need to be aware of, whether consciously, whether it's conscious energy, subconscious or unconscious. It could be some energy that's looming in the background or that's hiding that you're not even completely aware is there, uh, but definitely able to get some good insight from it. And, and so you can kind of like figure out how you want to deal with certain situations that are going on in your life. My mid-month readings are a little bit more like, uh, I guess you can say like not rigid, like spontaneous. So generally speaking, I will focus on spiritual guidance, which focuses on you, but I do switch it up from time to time and I can do like an astrological event um, or I can do a love reading, which is what this one is. Okay. So I am kind of hoping to do my mid-month readings and like have them be more different more often. Um, so every month it would be like something different or something unique. Okay, uh, so for this one, it's going to be a love reading. I finally felt inspired to do a love reading after all this time. So that's what that's going to be. Uh, so the way that this is going to work is I'm going to pull five cards for you and five cards for your person. Um, I am using two different decks, so we can definitely pull some of the same cards for each spread. Um, and that will definitely bring a whole other element to the reading and to your guys' connection. Um, now, about your person. This person can be someone that you are currently in a committed relationship with. This person can be someone that you are currently dating. This person can be someone that you have your eye on, but you're single. And this person can be someone you haven't even met yet and you are so single that you're spending probably more time thinking about your person than actually being with your person because you haven't met them yet. So the way that that works, it's kind of like the energy will kind of show up like in reference to how you are currently manifesting love into your life. Like how, like if that is something that you want and you are so incredibly single, like what is it that you're thinking about? What are you looking for? Like what kind of person do you like think is going to suit you? What, it, what kind of person do you think you want? You know, so this could definitely be an energy that shows up in reference to um, how you are manifesting this person, how you are manifesting love and like, what does this person look like? What are they going to be like? Or, um, you know, like, what does the ideal person look like? So I don't know, Gemini, it could really be a lot of different things. This is a general reading, so it probably isn't going to resonate for everybody. But um, I do like to keep my messages as insightful as possible so that anybody who is watching, even if you're not a Gemini, can gain some kind of information from it can gain some kind of perspective, perspective from it. So I hope that you guys appreciate that. I figure that you would appreciate that because you're a Gemini. I know you guys like to learn. So let's take a look. Let's just see. Let's see what happens, okay? Um, so what messages uh, do we have for Gemini's love life? Messages for Gemini in regards to their love life. Messages for Gemini in regards to their love life. <laughs> Messages for Gemini in regards to their love life. Messages for Gemini in regards to their love life. I know that when I start taking a deep breath, we're almost there. <laughs> a couple more shuffles. All right, Gemini, let's take a look to see what energies are coming up for you. For the first card, we have the Queen of Swords, Libra Energy, Fellow Fire Sign, or oh my God, where am I right now? Fellow Air Sign. Wow, look at how beautiful she is. Okay, 
So this could definitely be you right now. You're in your air element, Gemini. Um, you're feeling balanced in yourself, okay? You're just kind of feeling like you, like, like your mental capacity and your intellectual energy and like just like the like where you're at within your own mind right now with your own ideas of relationships and how you think that they should be you've probably had a lot of experience in relationships to be honest like you've probably been through like quite a couple of relationships and you know you you have a lot of wisdom you have a lot to bring to the table okay it's kind of like you know your worth you know what you have to give you know your like you know you you understand your own mental capacity you understand like what it takes to be in a committed relationship so you get that like you're there uh, the Queen of Cups, I really feel like you want to love someone right now. This is Cancer energy and another queen is showing up. All the queens do have the underlying energy of love. So you do want somebody to love. You do want someone who's going to like come home to you, who's going to give you a hug, who's going to give you a kiss, who's going to love you and you're going to love them. And you're just going to like, I feel like you do want someone that you can just kind of like give your love to, okay? Or you already have someone that you... um that you can give your love to. So this is kind of like the two energies that I have going on over here. You could already be in a committed relationships and you're just on top of your shit. Like you are hold, you are holding up your end of this relationship. If you already are in a relationship, you are holding up your end. Um, if you're not in a relationship, you know what it takes to hold it up. You know what it takes and you have the love to give. It's there um, and it's like you're ready to give it. So the third card, we have the Ace of Wands, lots of passion over here. So for a lot of you, there is going to be a new beginning. There is going to be some kind of like passion coming through. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, fire, 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 creativity, passion, inspiration, spirituality. That is what this represents. Okay. So honest to God, like whether you're in a committed relationship, whether you're dating somebody or not dating somebody, like you're, you're feeling fiery, you know, you're like... You know, like you're ready for some love, you know, you're, but not just love, you're ready for action. You're ready to kind of get it on. You know, you like, you want to be passionate towards somebody. You want to kind of like get things going. And this could be someone who's like in and out of your life. This could be somebody who's permanently in your life. This could be like, I feel like this can go so many different ways for you guys right now. Like that's totally what I'm getting here. So, cause like these energies are just like powerful energies. So like, I, that's why it can go in so many different ways. Um, so yeah, like I just kind of feel like you're ready to get it on, you know, or you're ready to just like, you know, bring a little bit more extra excitement into your relationship already, or bring some excitement into your life if you don't currently have it. Um, the next card we have is the Hierophant Taurus energy. So you're definitely like, you know, you do want that, like you are being guided more to go towards like that traditional kind of aspect of relationships. Like you do want the stability. You want the foundation. You want to like be able to call your partner also like your spiritual partner. Like you want it to have an, an element of sacredness to it. You want to feel like this is your person and you're their person. Like you're not really about like sharing, like even if you're like single and you're kind of like ready to get it on with someone, it's not like one of those things where like you want to share that person with somebody else. Like you are definitely feeling a little like traditional in that aspect of like sexuality. So you do kind of like, you know, you do kind of have some expectations going on there. But the final card for you, Gemini, we have the Page of Coins. This is going to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, pages. I love pages. I think they're underrated. Pages are the most pure form of the divine uh, manifested on the earthly plane, okay? So the way that I like to kind of explain that is like when we think of the ace energy, ace energy is the most pure form of divine energy of a certain element, whether it's fire, water, earth, or air. It's like the most divine, it's the purest form of that element. And the divine only gives that pure energy to pages, they don't give that energy to anybody else. They give that energy to a page and a page has to figure out, they have to like figure out how they can use that energy here on earth. They have to like trial and error. They have to become students of life. They have to like be creative and try things. Okay. And that is how they build themselves up to become queens and kings and 
et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, up with the gods and the skies, you know, after all of that. But the initial gift is given to a page. So, and like, and like I said, like, I feel like pages are overrated. I think pages have the most purest hearts. Um, they're kind of like children in a way. And I think that it's important for us to really embrace and understand the page in us because there's always something to learn. There's always something to learn. So with the page of coins over here, this is like you being open to learning maybe like new ways to make money or new ways to kind of like take care of yourself. Um, so you can, you know, become an extra... So you can be supportive to your family, to you, to your partner, you know, whichever way things go, like you want to be able to like provide, you want to be able to like be stable and to have a foundation. Um, so you're definitely like, it could be like you're learning a new skill. It could be like a new job that you just started. So it could be a lot of different things. Okay. So this is your energy, Gemini. Now we're going to get into your person's energy. Let's take a look at what is going on with them. All right, so messages from Gemini's person. <clears throat> messages from Gemini's person. What are the messages coming through from Gemini's person? Messages coming through from Gemini's person. Messages coming through from Gemini's person. Messages coming through from Gemini's person. Okay. All right, Gemini, let's take a look to see what we have coming from your person. Ace of Cups. <laughs> I love it. Too. See, the aces, divine, 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 new beginning. The divine is coming down. The divine is coming down. And they're just like, bam, you better show this Gemini some love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, new beginning in love over here. Okay. So like I said, doesn't matter. Are, are you in a relationship? Are you dating? Are you single? There is a new beginning in love. If you're in a relationship, that does not mean that you guys are breaking up. It just means that your love is reaching some new heights. You've learned something new about each other and, you know, maybe had to love each other a little bit better. Um, so new beginning in love coming from your person over here. Oh my God. So this is a very transformative kind of love. This is very powerful. So heads up, we have the tower card. This is Mars energy, okay? This kind of divine love is the kind that's going to transform you. It can be a kind of love that will break you down. So it could, there could be something about this person. It's like they could be testing you. And I, I'm sorry, but that is just like what I'm feeling right now, you know? Like nobody likes to be tested, but I don't know. I feel like if anybody's going to win a test, it's going to be you guys. So like... It's just like one of those, you know how love can transform us. I feel like it's not real love if it doesn't transform us in some way, if we don't learn something, if it doesn't like break down some walls. So I feel like this person is coming in to break down some walls. I'm just saying, okay. They might stir some, stir a little bit up, okay. And it might like, you know, it might kind of make you like question how deeply you love this person, right? So that's just kind of what I'm getting over here. And then we have the three of pentacles, which is Mars and in Capricorn. So they want to like work with this. They want to work on this with you. They want to build something. And perhaps that's kind of their way of like showing love. Like they could be somebody who feels like they need to be in control and they need to kind of feel like they are the ones who are going to build you back up. And they're the ones who are going to, you know, be that like emperor. Because um, just so you know, like the tower card, the, the, for the major arcana, the tower is matched with the emperor. Uh, because the tower is Mars and the emperor is Aries and those two go hand in hand. So, um, so it could be like a very emperor ish kind of energy kind of like coming in, um, and like really wanting to build things with you, but you know, it's kind of like, well, you know, it's kind of like coming, the, the love is so strong. It's coming through in a very kind of, uh, you know, maybe like dominant kind of way and they want to build with you together with you. Uh, so for the next card, we do have the five of wands. Um, this is going to be Saturn in Leo energy. And we, we do see a little bit of conflict over here. So this could be someone who is in conflict with themselves 
or in conflict a little bit with you, okay? And then we have the Eight of Cups, okay? So just kind of be cautious. The Saturn in Pisces is about, like, this person is walking away from something that is not fulfilling them emotionally. So this conflict could be in regards to their work. They could be having conflict at work. And maybe, like, that is why it's coming in really strong for your guys' relationship. Like, that energy is kind of, like, translating. Energy that's going on around this person outside of your relationship is translating within the relationship. Uh, so just kind of be careful with that. But this person is definitely considering leaving something behind. I don't know what that is, and I can't go into the depths of it right now. But he is considering leaving something to, something behind because it is not fulfilling him or her emotionally. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I actually like kind of glad like this is your reading Gemini. My computer is about to die. So I'm about to stop this video before it completely cuts out on me and we light like lose the video forever and I can't even upload it. So I hope this reading helped. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.